Hello everyone and welcome to a service of carols and readings. This compilation is brought to you by the choirs of St Mary's and All Saints and members of the congregation as we deliver to you those Christmas carols we love and the readings that we hear every year that tell us of Jesus' birth. Please do enjoy this gathering. It's lovely to be able to share this with you. And before we start, let's hear a message from Reverend Lizzie. It's been a strange year, hasn't it? One which we would never have foreseen in any way imaginable. And as we've approached Christmas, there have been many ups and downs. We've certainly known what it is like to live in lockdown and sometimes perhaps what it feels like to live in that darkness. But Christmas is the time when as Christians we remember that God shines a light into the world and that the darkness will never overcome it. And so I pray and hope that this Christmas each and every person here in Fishponds will be able to know that glimmer of light in a world that feels dark and that with that light they'll be able to share it with others in acts of kindness and generosity, of love, and in that way, bring a little bit of the Christ child to this world at this time. Amen. <laughs> The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. A child is born to us, a son is given to us, and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. His royal power will continue to grow his kingdom will always be at peace. He will rule as King David's successor, basing his power on right and justice from now until the end of time. The Lord Almighty is determined to do all of this.
a virgin conceives. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph and the virgin's name Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning, you're beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called son of the highest. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David. He will rule Jacob's house forever, no end, ever to his kingdom. Mary said to the angel, but how? I've never slept with a man. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, the power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy, Son of God. And did you know that your cousin Elizabeth conceived a son? old as she is. Everyone called her barren, and here she is, six months pregnant. Nothing, you see, is impossible with God. And Mary said, Yes, I see it all now. I am the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. Then the angel left.
The Birth of Jesus, Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When the first census took place, Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, eat his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have a baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 16. In that region there were shepherds living in the hills, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you, 
is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing which that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. <coughs>
A reading from the Gospel of St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder as heaven stoops to touch the earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen.
been lovely that you've been able to join us for our online carol service this year at All Saints in St Mary's. And so let us finish now with a blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours and all those whom you love and pray for this day now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>